this report that I have from uh, from the India Today magazine, which says uh, tech layoffs globally, 18,000 people of Amazon have lost their jobs, laid off. 12,000 from Google have uh, been laid off. 11,000 people in Meta, part of Facebook group, uh, uh, laid off. 10,000 from Microsoft laid off. 3,900 from IBM laid off. 3,000 from SAP laid off. And also several startup companies in India have laid off people. 500 from Share Chat, 380 from Swiggy, precious people, you know. We meet them every other day if you're living in a city because you order something on Swiggy or Zomato. 380 of them laid off. 200 Ola drivers laid off, 200. Uh, 120 from Captain Fresh. Uh, and it's, it's a never ending list. Uh, in 2022, 1,040 tech companies laid off 159,684 employees globally. It's a big, think of it, 1,040 tech companies laid off people, close to 1,60,000 people. And by January 30th of this, of this year, 229 tech companies laid off another close to 70,000 people by January 31st. Now, why do I give, the, give you this elaborate uh, statistic? Just to emphasize, drive in this message, don't trust in your salary. Don't trust in your job. And as a, as a leader of a ministry, and, and tomorrow, February 16th, will mark 17 years of our existence, I want to tell myself, don't, I don't want to, I don't trust my financial partners, uh, majority of whom are Indians. Uh, I don't put my trust in them. I thank God for them. And even in this meeting, there's, there's a gentleman, you know, uh, there, are, there are at least a couple of people who, who regularly financially support our ministry right in the Zoom meeting. And I thank God for you. But I want to tell you, I don't trust in you. I want to tell all of us that we don't, we don't trust in our bank balance. Why? Because the Bible tells us that uh, we should only trust in God. First of all, it's an observation. It's an observation that trusting in anything apart from God is an absolute useless thing to do. It's an observation in the Bible. In Psalm 60 and verse 11, the Bible says, in Psalm 60 and verse 11, uh, the Bible says, the help of man is worthless. And in Psalm 108 and verse 12, the same thing is repeated. Help of man is worthless. And in Psalm 118 and verse 9, the Bible says, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. So your donor or your the company that you work for or the, your donor may be the richest man in the world or that could be the biggest company or it could be a government company, you know, it's supposed to be... Uh, uh, taking care of you for retirement and beyond and so on and so forth. It can be, don't trust your prince. It's a, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than trust in princes, Psalm 118 and verse 9. Okay. Um, so that's the observation in the Bible. Not just observation. It is also an instruction. It's a command. It's an instruction. The Bible says in Psalm 146 and verse 3, Put not, it's a command, put not your trust in princes. In mortal man who cannot save, put not, that's a command. It's, a, it's an obligation. It's, 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 it's like you need to see it with the seriousness of 10 commandments. Thou should not commit adultery. Thou should not give false witness. It's, it's, a, it's a command, instruction. And the same thing, Isaiah 2.22 Put no more trust in man, Isaiah 2.22, who has only a breath in his nostrils of what account is he, Isaiah 2.22. Direct command, not just observation. Uh, observation, it's a waste of time. Under observation, uh, an, an example would be Asa was diseased in his feet and his disease was getting worse, but he trusted in physicians. Absolutely, it was disastrous. He didn't trust in God. He trusted in his physicians. So through observation, the Bible says, don't trust in uh, your salary. Don't trust in people, uh, but trust in God. Through instruction, the Bible says, don't trust in people. 
uh, don't trust in your salary, don't trust in your most trustworthy person who is not God. Then thirdly, there's an illustration, memorable illustration. Illustration comes from Isaiah 36 and verse 6, where the Bible says, when you trust in Egypt, it is like you're trying to, it, you, uh, trusting in Egypt is like putting your weight on, on a splintered reed and that will pierce your hand when you lean on it. A sharp stick with a pointed edge. So when you trust in Egypt, God says to Israel, God says to Judah, when you trust in Egypt, it will pierce. It's a sh that, that, the thing, that the stick that you catch to trust it will poke you. So the people that you think will are your most trustworthy people, if you keep trusting them, they will poke you. They, they, will, they, will, they, will be, they will prove to be untrustworthy. I'm not sure if there's a word like that. When, when you really need them, that's when they, was, they are going to, instead of soothing you, they are going to poke you. Isaiah 36 and verse 6 has a memorable illustration as to why we should not trust people okay, or trust anything, but we, we must only trust in God and not anything else. Observation, instruction, illustration, and finally, the Bible says trusting in people, there's a, if you trust in people, you are in for condemnation. Not just observation, not just instruction, not just illustration, but finally condemnation. Jeremiah 17, 5, the Bible says, Jeremiah 17, 5 says, Cursed is the man who, who trusts in mankind. Curse, that means this is a sin that can take you all the way to hell and damn you. It'll, it'll damn you. Curse. A curse is the man who trusts in mankind, who makes the flesh his strength and turns his heart away from the Lord. So don't trust in that thing you think is the most trustworthy. I thank God for my computer. It's, it's made by one of the world's be, uh, most trusted brands, Apple, but I don't trust this computer. I, don't, I, 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 I thank God for the wonderful people God has placed in my life, but I don't trust them. I trust God. And I don't say that from, from, the, from my lips. I want to say that from inside because the Bible observes the folly of trusting in people, of trusting in anything which is not God, that is not God or who is not God. And it gives us instruction, observation, instruction, illustration. And it also warns, leaves of the condemnation if we trust in anything apart from God. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you for fountain of tears against mountain of tears fasting prayer. Precious few people. But different parts of Lord the world. We had people joining. Uh, we had someone joining from Canada. We had people from North India for some time joining us. Lord from Punjab, from Lord from from Bihar. Lord, we had Dale joining us from Delhi. We have Sis Justin joining us from western part of India, from outside of Mumbai in Alibag. We thank you for Naveen joining us from Bangalore and. Lawrence joining us from Hyderabad. We thank you for the reminder, Lord, from your word that we should not trust people or our, our, our paychecks or our, 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 our properties or, or people who have been good to us for many generations. We, thank, we should thank you for them, but we should never trust them. Lord, we, we thank you for this reminder from your word. And we also pray for these people, O oh Lord, uh, who have lost their jobs, O oh Lord, from these 1,040 tech companies and another 229 tech companies and all these startup companies, O oh Lord, even these Ola drivers and the Swiggy delivery boys who have lost their jobs. I pray right now, we once again pray, it's never a wrong time to once again intercede, stand in the gap, that they, you will, that that they will know you, that they will know Jesus, God in flesh, who died for them on the cross, who rose again, who is now... Uh, alive again, who's, uh, uh, who's a friend closer than a brother, and they, they will have a relationship with them, that, he'll, that you'll be a trustworthy, Lord, that they will make you as a trustworthy friend, you who died for them on the cross, that they will not trust in their jobs or money or the, the biggest financial donor, they will not trust in their princess, as your word repeatedly says, don't trust the prince, don't trust the big shot. Lord, we thank you for this reminder. 
and give us strength to come back again and pray like this next month as well. In Jesus Christ, my prayer. Amen. Thank you.